Hello everybody, welcome to your April 2nd, 2022 card of the day. This is for the next 24 hours. Uh, you might not be uh, in the April 2nd date where you are in the world, or you may see this video at another time. So we're just taking the intention here for the next 24 hours, whenever you're meant to see the message, whenever you're meant to hear it. So we're going to see, oh, and happy birthday, happiest of birthdays. To the April 2nd babies out there. And the card we all have coming up here is the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups can come up in a few ways. The Seven of Cups in the most traditional sense can be where we're confused on what we want to do because there's a lot of options. And what the really funny thing is, is that this really kind of is a continuation from yesterday's card of the day. Yesterday's card of the day, we had the Knight of Wands, and there was the aspect of having to make a decision in a short period of time. So a lot of you probably took that counsel, or that, I shouldn't say counsel, but that suggestion to heart about not making a fear-based decision, and you took a moment, and you prayed, and you meditated, and you grounded yourself, and you started to realize, hey, okay, this fear-based solution is not my only option. There's actually several things that I can do. So some of you are beginning to have your eyes open up and you're like, well, before I felt stuck because I felt like I didn't have any choices. And now I feel stuck because I have so many of them. And so you're, you're not sure which direction to go in. A lot of the times this is because we're scared we're going to make the wrong choice. Uh, and sometimes it's really challenging for some of us if you grew up in like a really strict culture or home where there was a lot of like, uh, you know, expectation and you have to be this way, you have to be that way, uh, you may have kind of grown up thinking that a lot of the things that you want are stupid or they're not important, right? Maybe you said you what you want to be when you grow up and they're like, no, you need to be an engineer or a doctor, right? Like you need to make money. Or if you wanted to buy a toy or something or a box of cereal, put that away. I'm not spending money on that garbage, right? So at some point you're like, okay, I guess everything I like is stupid. So you stop wanting things. You learn to turn yourself off, to shut down and to stop like desiring anything or dreaming of anything. And those of you who have had that, uh, you know, inactive part of you for a long time, it might be starting to open up now and you're like, wait a minute, right? Like I see that there's some options here and I'm starting to realize there's things that I want to do and you might be having a hard time choosing which one. So if you have a few different options or possibilities ahead of you or a, or a few different doors you're considering opening, go ahead and write out a list of the different options. And then one by one, envision yourself having made that choice, like daydream about it, see it in your mind's eye. How, how does it feel living that life? Imagine yourself living that life and pay attention to how you feel. Then pay attention to, as you're paying attention to how you feel, make note of which scenarios made you the happiest. Like when I envisioned that, that really resonated with me. That felt good to my spirit. That like I felt like a, a weight was lifted off my shoulders, right? So pay attention to anything that gave you a sense of joy and which ones made you the happiest. Once you have that down, go ahead and start doing the research. What do I have to do to make this happen? Do I have to travel? Do I have to uh, buy something? Do I have to take a class? Do I need some kind of equipment? Uh, do I need some kind of certification? Uh, start looking into that. How might I go about making this happen? Once you have that figured out, then you can see which ones are easy or obtainable right now and which ones are the ones that you're going to build up to over time. So then instead of being stuck, now some of you have up to like a five-year plan written out for yourselves. So it, it's just a way that maybe you can make some decisions and what you want to do. I do feel that for a lot of you, um, I, and this is just coming in intuitively, this isn't coming in from the card, this is coming in intuitively. I Because I'm seeing Spirit keep showing me the Nine of Cups. And you guys know what I say about the Nine of Cups. Spirit keeps showing me the Nine of Cups. So I do feel here that 
you guys are going to make the right decision. You're going to choose the right thing. And I feel here that you're choosing the thing that like is really going to be in your best and highest good. And there's going to be some people that are going to have a hard time with this. I feel like some of you ha are even going to be stepping away um, from something that you were leading for a long time. Like you might decide, you know what, I don't want to be the head of this organization anymore. I don't want to be, uh, uh, you know, in charge of, of this anymore, or I don't want to be, uh, you know, running this business or running this company anymore. And so you may be stepping down or stepping aside from some kind of a role because it's just not fun for you anymore. And it's getting in the way of what you want to do or how you want to move forward. So for some of you, I do feel like you have to be ready. You have to be prepared for the people who are going to come at you like, oh, well, you're just going to abandon me then. Or, oh, you're just going to leave me high and dry then. Or uh, what about the rest of us, right? I, I feel for some of you, you're dealing with that kind of a, that kind of a dynamic. So remember what I say when the Nine of Cups comes up. Before the blessing comes in, work on that sense of deservingness. Like, hey, I worked really hard. I busted my, my behind. Like, I deserve this. This is mine. I deserve to have this. And just because somebody else is envious or jealous, I'm not going to let that get to me. Right? They have a right to their opinion, but I'm not going to pay it any mind because I've worked very hard to be where I am and to earn what I have. So work on that sense of deservingness. And understand and know that, you know, we're all on our journeys and, and we can't always promise people forever, right? It's just we, we never know when the road is splitting and when it's time to go different ways. And so you may see that you were in that person's life for a season, right? And, and they learned what they learned from you and you gave what you can give. But at this point... It's like for some of you, it, it's sink or swim at this point, right? Like as if you're on a little lifeboat and uh, it's it's starting to, you know, fill up with water. So you're throwing off anything that's unnecessary or anything that is just, you just, you, you can't give it that precious space right now. And you have to do what you have to do to stay afloat. So um, this is, this is for you to give yourself permission uh, to step aside from, uh, you know, titles uh, or, uh, you know, previously uh, committed obligations that are not aligned with your best and highest good anymore and that are maybe kind of draining you or holding you back, okay? So when I say this, this to, to me feels more like work, business. Um, it could be a, a creative collaboration, um, gosh, spirit is showing me, uh, something that somebody I knew was working on for a long time, which they were putting together a cartoon. They were putting together a cartoon with a few different people and it dragged on for a really long time. And the one person said, I can't do this anymore. Like it's draining my assets. It's cutting into my regular work. Uh, it's, this isn't generating anything. So this person stepped away. And then everybody else in the group was really upset, like, oh, so you're just going to leave us. You're just going to abandon us you know, after all this time. So I, that's like, that's the kind of scenario I mean. It could be something that you've been working on with somebody for a long time. Maybe some of you are in a band and you're deciding to go solo, or maybe some of you have been doing something in terms of like some kind of performance and you're stepping away from it uh, to do something else for a while or to do some other project. Um, it could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, wanting to go and be a sole proprietor, proprietor in a business. Maybe you have a business partner and you're telling this business partner, you know what, I'm going to kind of go my own way here. I'm going to do this my way. So, um, you know, just know somebody might feel let down, but we can't control when there's a fork in the road. And we each have our own journey. And all you can do is take responsibility for your journey. Okay. Um, I hope this is helpful. I thank you guys for tuning in and checking out the daily card. Uh, don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts if you haven't already. As well as the love readings for April. Those are linked in the description. And the weekly forecasts for the coming week will be popping up throughout the day. Um, uh, today's Saturday. 
I thank you all for watching, uh, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a wonderful day, my dears. Take care.